Hi, and welcome to Make It Mug Want. My name is Leanne. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's talk fall, autumn, eyeshadow palettes. It's that time of year. I switch out my eyeshadow palettes on my vanity that are my go-to. I switch those out every season, and I like to share those with y'all. I have um, already made, purchased eyeshadow palettes, and then I always put a singles palette together. I have both of those to share with you today, um, and a couple of little bonus Jonas ones that are sitting over here. So let's 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 begin. Um, this one stays on my vanity year round. This is the Cover Girl True Naked Nudes. It's the palette that I go to if I don't know what to go to. Um, it is disgustingly abused and used, and I have loved it for a long time. I do have a backup ready to go, which is great. I've repressed this shade and this shade two times now. This one, I think that we're almost, it's almost gone. I'm now using this really for a crease shade. Um, I use this one for a liner. Um, I, I just love this palette. It is easy. Um, it's neutral, so not cool, not warm. I love it. It stays on my vanity year round. It goes nowhere. Okay, now let's get into the real the real deal. Okay, I pulled. Um, do you remember these? I think they're still available. They're really they were really cheap. They were like, I don't know, between fourteen and twenty dollars. I think I got mine on sale for ten, and I bought both of them. So these are the Pat McGrath little teeny tiny, eye ecstasy sublime whatever palettes. They're like, but aren't they very like autumnal to the nth degree? This one's a little greeny. That, of course, burgundy. We got some bronzy shades, a dark brown. They're gorgeous. They're little tiny shades, but would you ever need more? No, it's beautiful. Lid shade, one and done shade. That is an easy palette. It's plastic. You could throw it in your bag, the whole thing. Love it. This one's new. I haven't used it yet, but I knew I wanted to get some use out of it this fall. This is the Sugar Drizzle Pit. Um, pickle palette. It's paint me green and call me a pickle because I'm done dealing with you. Uh, uh, uh. Look at her, right? Duochromes, beautiful greens. That's going to be a gorgeous eye or two or three. Can't wait to use that. So excited. This is another one I haven't used yet, but was purchased on sale a while back. This is the Too Faced Cinnamon Swirl. Now, I don't, I haven't bought pumpkin spice, extra spice, all that. I don't do that. I don't love warm palettes. This is a warmer palette than I would normally love, but this nine quad, nine quad, nine pan half over here is just, it's a beautiful, to me, a beautiful neutral eye. I can certainly warm it up if I want to with the other half. I have not, it does smell like cinnamon. Um, I have not loved Too Faced Shadows in a long time. I believe I got this at the CC uh, store, the, the, CCO store where you like get them for $10 or whatever. I say $10. It was probably more like 15, but I went ahead and purchased it. I'm going to get some use out of that this fall. It's the old tin packaging. I like it very much. The tin packaging makes me happy. Um, there's that. This is an older palette, but I actually keep it as decoration in a shelf you can't see above this one. This is from Makeup Revolution. Again, it's several years old, I think. This is called The Haunted House. Look, isn't it the most gorgeous I love it so much. Uh, it's very warm. <laughs> She's very warm, but she also has some beautiful, beautiful shimmers in it. Um, I like this palette for this time of year. I've actually used it. You can tell. Um, I do like it very much. It is really pretty. It is a mid-tone to deep palette for me. This is not, there's, this is not going to be a light look. The two light shades are shimmer like metallics. So it's, it, you know, as far as like crease shade and all that, it's going to be a little bit dark. It's going to be a little bit smoky, this eye, but it's gorgeous. So pretty. It is the tin packaging. I have found that with Makeup Revolution, the tin packaging is the ones to try. They're not all great, but the tin packaging is pretty good for, for the most part. This is a Kubai Kai an indie brand. This is called the Glamorous. Um, mine had a shadow uh, break, so it's a little messy. But look at this pumpkin-y gorgeousness, right? My goodness. And I'm really excited to use that. I'm so excited to see the looks that come out of that. 
that's gorgeous. This is a palette that I own and have owned for a very long time. I am not supportive of this brand, but this is a fall palette for me. And so I pull it out because I want to get use out of my makeup, but this is a fall palette. It's really pretty. I wouldn't suggest you buy it, but if you have it, fall palette. Clarity Cosmetics. This is the Croc palette. They have a smaller one too. This is the Big Daddy. <laughs> Isn't she gorgeous? Oh my word. I think that Lotus Liner has a video uh, trying out her croc palette. I think she has the smaller one. Uh, go check her out. Sarah's amazing. Um, look at that. That's a fall palette. Gorgeous. This is another palette. I got this, I think, in a mystery box from Beauty Bay. And I did not buy these. I have quite a bit of Beauty Bay palettes. Um... Almost all of them, but I've, I've been choosier about the ones that I purchase um, just because I know that I'm not, I don't need the 42, the 16, the 9, the, I don't need all of them and I'm, I'm kind of choosy. So recently the Rich palettes came out. Um, I only bought the 16 pan. It's not here yet. I'll show it to you when it gets here. But um, I, I knew I wasn't going to get, a, you know, a bunch of use out of the giant, the 42 pan. So I didn't buy it. I didn't buy any of these because I didn't think that I would use them. But this one came in a mystery box. This is the 16 pan of the Fiery palette from Beauty Bay. And a boy, howdy. I used this last year and it is gorgeous. I know it's warm. I know. But I did get use out of it and it is beautiful. This one does have some shades that would, on my fair skin tone, it would be light enough. Like it's not going to be super dark unless I want it to be. Isn't that beautiful? So there are some shimmers, there are some mattes, and the Beauty Bay formula is 100% okay with me. I love it so much. I also pulled another palette that I had reorganized um, in... I don't know how long ago, but I bought years ago, I bought the, the giant Natasha Denona 28 pans. I bought both of them. I believe they were buy one, get one free on a Black Friday sale. And I also had a coupon, I believe. And so I, I purchased both of them. I know it's insanely expensive, but I then popped out the shadows and rearranged them for myself. And this is my neutral palette. <laughs> from her. This quad down here is a little different, but I rearranged. This is my brownie, brownie palette. And I pulled this out to get some use this autumn. It's not super warm. It's not super cool. It's just a neutral palette. Um, this is just my little, I love this little quad down here for a, some color. Um, but this is like a duochrome beautiful, but all of these are in either the blue purple or the, no, Yes, brown, green, blue, purple. Um, they're in that one. The other shades are in the other palette of this. So I I love it and I love getting use out of it. I think my favorite shade, I don't even know what it's called, is that one right there. I have used that one slam to death. It's just a beautiful crease shade for me. Beautiful. So let's, a couple of bonus palettes that are over here that I've pulled that I want to get a little bit more use out of just because. Um, and one of them I've actually already used and used on my channel. This is the Rogue palette from Fantasy Cosmetica. Um, it's beautiful. It's not the most autumnal thing ever. I mean, this row certainly could be, but I love it. It's absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to get a little bit more use out of it. And then the other thing that I'm doing is listening to Mr. Mugwump because he has said to me, that I can use these. I don't have to just look at them. So some of my beautiful Florasis palettes I'm getting use out of, which is heartbreaking, but also I'm excited. I love these things, y'all. They are the most beautiful thing. He's bought me every one I have. Um, it's usually a Christmas birthday gift. This one is several years old, I think, but it just makes the most beautiful thing. This gold is so pretty, but Everything is embossed and gorgeous. They are very light. It is um, very much an, like an Asian beauty look. So it's not um, super pigmented. You can build it up. but uh, And on my fair skin, it shows just fine. So I am trying to get use out of that one. And then the other one is the brown palette that is just gorgeous. 
it's just gorgeous. So I am, I'm working on it. I'm trying. I'm trying not to like hoard it and not use it. Let's look at singles. Okay, so I have pulled singles to use for this autumn. I always make myself a little custom palette out of all of my singles. And I have depotted shades. I have purchased um, specifically into independent brands, single shadows. Um, I bought a ton of Makeup Geek before they went out. Um, Sydney Grace, I always get mystery bags from them and purchase shadows from them. So I've got a, I've got a little bit of a conglomeration, but this isn't a Clarity Cosmetics um, magnetic palette that I've put this together. So here she blows, here she is this autumn. And let's talk a little bit about kind of what I gathered together. So the orange row, <laughs> This is the, usually the only time of year that I wear like kind of orangey, pumpkin-y, warm tones on my eyes. So I've got a couple of different brands here. Uh, this brand is, is one that I've depotted all of those shades from and uh, I don't support the brand anymore. These two are Perfusion um, and I don't know what this is. Do you say on the back? You don't. Heavens on the nose what that one is. Um, that, and that's part of the joy of my stuff is I have all these different brands all over the place. Uh, some of them say things on the back and some of them don't, uh, but they're they're my singles and I put them together and make my own color story. So I have kind of an orangey macaroni and cheese kind of eye. I've got some really deep tones down here um, and some of them are matte, some of them are not. Some of them have been injured in the depotting process. Um, and I'd like to get some use before they halt, before they crumble all the way. So I'd like to go ahead and use those. These are, I believe, JD Glow. Nope, this one's Clarity. Okay, so there's some Clarity Cosmetics and there's some JD Glow um, in this kind of greeny row. Same thing in the mauve row above. This is a um, sugar drizzle that was... It was leaching the like the oils or whatever out in the packaging. So I went ahead and pulled out this shade from the packaging. I believe it is in Trash Panda. And um, went ahead and pulled it out. It's a gorgeous like unicorn -y shade. I'll, I use these shades all the time, the purple blue kind of things. Um, and so I went ahead and popped it in here so I'd get some more use out of it, but also to keep it from continuing to leach into that packaging um, to preserve the other shades. So there's my there's my singles for the month, not the month, the season. I will likely switch out um, the beginning of December for winter. Um, and some of these I know that I will likely keep in here for winter, that top row, it's probably not going to go anywhere. I love mobs. In, in winter time, so I will likely keep those, but who knows? Let's see how much use I get out of that. Um, I'm excited to use all of these greeny, pumpkin-y autumnal shades and to get some more use out of the things in my collection that bring me joy and that inspire me to create makeup looks. I hope that uh, you have pulled some of your stuff out of your collection to use this fall. What's your favorite fall eyeshadow palette? Um, I've I've got many. <laughs> These are not the only ones that I enjoy. They're not the only ones that I'm going to use this season, but they're the ones that I want right at hand um, so that I can be inspired by them and use them. Let me know down below what you like. Um, hit like if you liked this video. Hit subscribe and let's be friends on the internet. Thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye.